My name is Joe Sandoval. I'm an electrical engineering student here at Cal Poly, and I'm going to be a graduating student in spring 2020. Now, despite the COVID-19 crisis, uh, I got very lucky. I was able to find myself uh, a job with Keysight Technologies out in Santa Rosa as a research and development test engineer. I'm here to talk a little bit about my college experience. See, it took me a really long time to get my bearings uh, here at Cal Poly. Uh, my experience wasn't like too many others. Uh, my first year was chaos, uh, from adjusting to dorm life to figuring out how exactly to be a college student. Um, that was followed by six months of internship. So I started in 2015, uh, went on internship the summer of 2016, and I didn't come back to Cal Poly until spring of 2017. And when I came back, that was effectively starting over. That fall, fall 2017, began what would be my favorite year here, my third year, because that's when I discovered my home. My major became my home and my community. See, Cal Poly's electrical engineering department is unique. Our students com don't compete with each other. We, we help each other. We're all in this together through all of the difficult classes, uh, difficult tests, difficult professors. Um, all of the students work together to help each other improve because we're all trying to get our degrees. And you don't see that at many other universities. See, that community, that became everything. So much so that my learn by doing experience here at Cal Poly was, has largely been about service to that community, honing my knowledge and skills to make things better. Now, I've had lots of leadership opportunities here at Cal Poly, but paramount among them are uh, my work with the EE Mentorship Program and ASI. See, the EE Mentorship Program is designed to promote community within the department and to mentor new students. The goal there being to try and get students on their feet. So that way there's not as much of a delay. Maybe people will find their community within EE a little faster than I did. I had the opportunity to start that program and chair it for the last two years, working with a group of seven other students on uh, initiatives related to that. And then there's ASI leadership on an entirely different scale, able to recommend and see change across this campus, having been elected by six, over 6,000 engineering students. It came with big and great responsibilities and roles to play, from seats on judicial committees to advisory boards, asking questions and getting answers for constituents. That was my bread and butter, and I loved every second of it. And in everything I've done here, I have hope I've tried to help others find what I found, a community to call their own. My largest regret is leaving right now. See, thanks to uh, the COVID-19 crisis and uh, around June 1st, 2020, a lot of uh, racial tensions across the country. Um, community is what's desperately needed around here strong voices, leadership, and community. And while it's time for me to set sail for whatever challenges come next, I know that the next generation of Cal Poly students are gonna be the ones that will face this time of uncertainty. And for their sake, while online learning is tolerable and missing graduation is unfortunate, I can't wait to have them return to Cal Poly the actual site, because that's where I've had long days and great adventures. And the person that I am going to be leaving this place is every bit the better for it, despite every hardship or challenge I've ever faced. You know, I almost didn't go to Cal Poly. Uh, I was about that close to going to uh, 
San Jose State. There's not a second of every day that I don't absolutely positively believe this was the best choice for me. Uh, and I don't know who's watching this, uh, graduating seniors or incoming students. But to both I say, um, coming up next is the next great adventure in your life. It'll be scary. It'll be fantastic. There will be nothing else like it. And you will be better coming out than you were going in. Walk in, eyes open. Take a deep breath and jump in. Because you're going to find that uh, whatever you make of your experience is what you'll get out of it. And you're in for a great time.